Okay, all right, camera's rolling. Unlock device microphone, unlock. Okay, unlocked, camera's rolling. All right, are you on the clacker? All right, we're gonna try and do this in one take. Camera's synced. <clears throat> it is National Ice Cream Month. Or maybe it's, maybe it's not national, maybe it's just, just Ice Cream Month. We found this out yesterday in, in a team meeting. And um, we have already been celebrating National or regular Ice Cream Month with protein breakfast replacement, meal replacement uh, ice cream. And here is how you make these. Start with the carbs. These are the highly branched cyclic dextrin, which is a uh, carbohydrate that is has a lot of bioavailability, basically. And this stuff will keep you full. And we're gonna make two servings, so we're gonna put two scoops. There we go. Don't don't put in the silica packet. That's not going to add to the flavor. Um, little natural garam. Again, we're, we're doubling up here because it's for two. Collagen. And this is this is the advanced collagen with a multi collagen. It's got like five different collagens in it. I did not know that there there were five different collagens until I started hanging out with my buddy Devin. Put that up there. Uh, bee pollen. Let's see. Maybe I can. Maybe I can do that trick I was talking about. This is this is camera one, and this is camera two. Bee pollen. Very high in bioavailability. Uh, biodiversity, actually. There's like 200 different things in bee pollen between uh, lipids and proteins and all kinds of crazy stuff. It can, can only do your body good. Now we're getting into the protein. Now this is the, the casin protein, which takes a little bit longer to digest. And we're going to put one scoop of this in because we're going to put in one scoop of whey for a total of two scoops. Whey. Just a, just a tad of cinnamon. Uh, Devin bought some really high quality cinnamon and you, you just need, that's it, you don't need any more than that. But just a splash of vanilla extract if you want to, you know, get a teaspoon out and go ahead and measure, go for it. That was probably a teaspoon. I, I guess we'll never know. And then I like to add the coconut oil after we've started mixing things around. So now we've got all this powder in here. What do we do? Milk or coconut milk. We're out of coconut milk, so we get milk. A little heavy cream and some yogurt. We're going to add the yogurt first. Uh, probably about a cup of yogurt, and then about a half a cup of milk, or coconut milk, it's up to you. And you can skip the heavy cream or add you know, about half a cup. Frozen some jumbo strawberries, and some blueberries. You just put a handful of blueberries in. And then I, I actually recommend go ahead and spinning this and then adding adding the frozen straw. It's still frozen, don't let them thaw. Add the frozen strawberries. One at a time. Now you can add, if it's if it's way too thick, add some more milk or coconut milk. Uh, bring the camera over here. 
Now sometimes if it's really thick, see down in there? See, I gotta, I gotta push these strawberries down with the knife below the blades. Now I'm just adding strawberries till we get to the top of that fill line. If you add too many strawberries at the same time, it's, it's a mess. Especially if they're frozen. But the good thing about putting the frozen strawberries in here is that you don't have to add ice. And ice waters it down. tablespoons of unrefined coconut oil or actually we can put two tablespoons of unrefined coconut oil and two tablespoons of MTC oil this is the MTC yep Here are those nutritional facts. Uh, now remember, we made this for two, so I, I doubled up on just about everything. And for meal replacement, about 814 calories. That 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 seems like a good number to me, especially if you're you know keeping it around uh, uh, either a 2,500 or 3,000 calorie diet, depending on on what your nutritional goals are. I, I don't I don't think I can survive on 2,000 calories a day. The uh, a lot of fat in there, 53.7 grams of fat keeps you nice and full. Uh, and it, uh, the amount of sugar in there is only only 18 grams. So there's there's more sugar in 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 say a, a, a an Arizona iced tea or or, or something like that. Uh, it's very very delicious. I hope you folks try out the recipe and uh, let me know in the comments. Now. Uh, the thing that I let's talk about what I have learned from making this video so I'm here with my buddy Devin and he's helping be the cameraman and it was a lot of fun because I've always 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 wanted to uh, uh, do this uh, this clacker thing why do I call it a clacker thing it's called a uh, clapper board there we go it's called a clapper board yeah and, it, and doing this allowed me to kind of sync up the cameras now what I what I failed uh, to do was inform my my cameraman what I what I expected him to do so there were we set up the first camera to look directly at the blender and then I didn't tell him to keep the camera on me so there were times where his camera's focused on the blender nothing's going on and the other camera's focused on the blender nothing's going on and it's it, it didn't it didn't come out the best but we're you know I'm learning I should have coordinated this uh, ahead of time so it's all it's all starting to come back to me and I don't think we ever did uh, when I when I was working with John I don't think we ever actually synced uh, the cameras in like a, a video production with with the clacker this way this is something I've always wanted to do uh, with film production and I finally just got to play around with it in, in this video and then the other thing that uh, uh, I you know I didn't realize until after we were done 
is that uh, uh, Devin's camera, you know, default his, in his mind is to film vertically. And I was thinking of this whole production, uh, you know, uh, uh, portrait or uh, not, excuse me, this is portrait, uh, landscape version. So uh, we'll be sure to orient the all of the cameras to uh, the same, whether that's, that's vertical or uh, horizontal. So we eliminate doing this. Uh, it, it does give me the option to, uh, you know, throw, throw in some nutritional facts and this way I can, you know, here, let's match the output. Um, see now, now I can have nutritional facts up on the screen and not have, uh, you know, too much of the, the other, the, it, it's not taking up any of the video screen real estate because this is part of the background. Uh, again, not an intention, but sometimes in video production, you just have to work with what you've got. Uh, certainly didn't want to, uh, you know, redo this shoot. It's already been eight days. I'm trying to get consistent. I'm trying to release uh, videos in a consistent manner uh, once a week, once every two weeks at least. Um, and, and if uh, hopefully as things spin up, we'll, we'll get them out quicker than that. But, uh, um, you know, here, here we are and uh, still still learning and still getting into the groove of things. Um, what else we talked about that we talked about the nutritional facts oh and finally um, let's go into the comment section now the first thing I want to do is address the one down here so the background music horrible I'm glad you like the music and I see where you're coming from the uh, the music in the last video it was a little busy um, it could definitely be more uh, ominous and down tempo so so we'll see if I can't pick something uh, you know a little more uh, a little more to everyone's liking and I know you can't please everybody but I, I can see where you're coming from on, uh, on on this feedback and I appreciate it and then uh, you know same thing here forgive the lack of quality I, I was trying to do like a style thing it obviously didn't work which is why you got two thumbs up on your comment so uh, we'll, we'll figure that out for next time uh, not trying to be toxic. Uh, let's see here. Ashbringer Onyxia. Not trying to be toxic, but years since, uh, but since years you're making excuses to get your life together. Since years promising, uploading on a regular basis, nothing happened. If you would have done the same thing as Swifty, just streaming daily, you would have been success by now. Yeah, I don't. My, I've got. I still have to make a video describing uh, everything I've been through. Uh, I certainly did want to make a video when I was feeling terrible and, you know, complaining about my life and all that stuff. Now I just wanted to suck it up and get things fixed, which is, which is where we're at now. So now that I'm on the other side of it, you know, I, I should be able to, to talk about it. Hopefully that'll help some, some other people that, uh, might unfortunately be, have been in the same position I was with some of the illnesses and diseases I had to deal with that I didn't realize I, I had for so long. I'm, I'm glad those are all cleared up now. Shout out, hey, Theism Prod. Good to see you. Um, get your channel growing a bit faster. Uh, this is uh, Nick Jamie 5904 uh, I see you have the content, but you need a better camera setup, one with a better mic. It will really clean up your overall presentation. Agreed. Uh, need to get a directional microphone for if I'm going to be filming on the beach because you got all that wind. And then on top of that, about the better camera comment, I noticed that when I, 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 I rendered the, the, that video in the wrong setting. So one of the things that I messed up on was the, the pixel format. I had it set at 8 bits, which is why in some of the video, the video quality isn't, isn't all there. Um, you know, I, I, I noticed that too when it, when it showed up. You know, it doesn't look too bad on the phone. But you can see that I've been that that ghosting. Let me get that. You can, yep, you can there see he is the, right there. Wait, come on. You can see the ghosting when the camera moves around. Uh, yeah, see, there's just there's a little bit of ghosting, and uh, the the frame rate's not what it could be. So, um, hopefully, this uh, changing changing the render setting uh, from from eight bits to thirty two bits will certainly certainly improve the the video quality so thanks for the comment uh i did notice a quality issue i, I thought i had a better phone than that uh and and we'll see what it looks like now with these settings please uh you know give me give me your feedback let me know what you think and then obviously 
uh, we will be buying some some uh, more uh, you know studio grade uh, equipment. Um, have to start doing my research on on that. Devin's got some stuff we're gonna start playing around with, uh, and and to get his channel up and running, and then I'll be able to make some decisions as to the type of equipment that I want to get and, uh, and and keep working on. Let's wrap up the rest of the comments. Um, you know, Haynes Heinrich, uh, Haynes Henrik, uh, you know, chimed in with another comment that, uh, you know, the videos from back in the day were, were real meaningful. I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, we will get the band back together. We'll do some sort of short, short reunion tour or something like that. When I get the, when I get things rolling, uh, things calm down at work and stuff like that. Um, thanks again, uh, Hooligan Luke, super stoked to see you doing well, man. Always excited to see you upload. Thank you. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Uh, same thing with uh, K.S. Sherman. Uh, and then we got uh, Zell Killer. I'm losing here. Next is going gray. Man, time really flies. We're getting old. Hope everything's good next. I'm losing here too. I, I'm, I'm losing. I'm getting bald up there. We'll, I'll either, I'm either going to shave it all off or, or I'll get hair plugs. I haven't decided yet. We'll, we'll make a video out of it. <laughs> I'm probably going to shave it all off one of these days uh, and grow a beard. So uh, that's it. I hope everybody liked the video. Please leave your uh, your comments. I always I always appreciate the uh, constructive feedback. Again, trying to be consistent. Uh, this makes uh, you know two videos within uh, eight or nine days, depending on how you look at it. And then we'll get the we'll get the next one out. And like I said, I'm I'm gonna help my uh, my buddy Devin get his channel up and running. And by doing that, I feel that collaboration is is really gonna help you know get things uh, get things rolling. Uh, appreciate uh, you folks all stopping by and watching these videos and I can't wait to see you for next time.